Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Whitney and thanks for joining me here today. This is only my third makeup video so I'm still relatively new to this so be kind to me. <laughs> so for today I am going to do a first impressions on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I have had this palette for close to a year now and I just haven't ever broken it out to try it and give it a chance. Probably because the Sultry palette blew me away and it's just kind of been my go-to neutral palette. But I'm ready to try this out. I've, I've just taken the little clear part out and I've looked inside, but I have not swatched. Oh, the brush just popped out. And I love these brushes, by the way. I use them all the time for my lower lash line. But yes, here it is. Very pretty. I feel like I'm so late to the game. Probably because I actually am. But it is very pretty, and the, the tones that most intrigued me about this were namely like this mauve color and the rosy pinks right here. I'm very intrigued by them. I'm not planning on using them today, unfortunately, because I'm planning to go super neutral on my eyes and then do a red lip, a strong red lip. Um, so, let's get to it. Well, as of right now, like usual, all I have on is the MAC Paint Pot and Shade Painterly on my eyelids. And I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in shade Fair underneath my eyes to catch any fallout that may happen. I also went ahead and put a little concealer um, on my chin because I've got maskiny, so fun. What I'm thinking I might want to do today is um, go into some of these colors right here on the bottom. And I think I'm going to use the shade Glistening for, oh, <laughs> for all over the lid. So we're gonna see how that goes. So for my transition, I'm gonna start by going into this burnt orange color and I'm just gonna take that into my crease. Oh. Lots of fallout, but that's not too abnormal for Anastasia. So this color is actually um, one that she has in the Modern Renaissance palette, which I have and it's, it's very well loved. It's performing on par with what most matte neutral Anastasia shadows perform on. So it's good. It's 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 still brown, but it has that little bit of orange tinge. But not too in your face, you know. Just kind of toasted. And we like how the crease is beginning. Okay, so for the outer corner and going more into the crease, I'm gonna go in with this color Sienna. I'm a huge fan of the color raw sienna that's in the Modern Renaissance palette, but this is definitely a lot darker than the other one. The other one's like a pretty pure matte brown. And this one has, I don't know how much you can tell, You maybe you can tell up against the rustic color, but this one's definitely got more red to it. So I'm going ahead and dipping into the Sienna color and starting in on my crease and outer corner. It's definitely giving it a little more red. Ooh. Lots of fallout in the pan, but again, not too unusual for Anastasia. Okay, so right now it looks pretty even to me. So I'm going to take the, the rustic color and blend out my crease with that. Okay, so right now I think it's actually looking pretty good. So I'm going to go in with this glistening shade right here. And just using my finger, I'm going to put it all over my eyelid and hope that it is nice and shiny. Ooh, it's very soft. Ooh, pretty. I mean, I like that shimmer, the glistening shade. I mean, it's not just insane and, and like just out of this world shimmery, but it does give you that like subtle shine. It almost reminds me of like what they would describe a candlelight highlighter as. Just that subtle little glow, like if you're standing in the can like a candlelit room or something, just something subtle. Uh, that's what it kind of reminds me of, but like for your eyes instead of a highlighter. So I like it. I mean, it's not just like blowing me away, but then again, I prefer pretty extreme sparkles. All right, so for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna pull from the Cypress Umber. Obviously I've tried this color in the Modern Renaissance palette. Yeah, I think that's what it's in. So I know I, I like it. It's not one that I use just all the time. Like if I'm dipping into that palette, I'm usually dipping into it for the reds 
to be like the feature, not like the dark browns that I kind of have in every palette. I do like it for the lower lash line. It brings that depth. Also, I apologize if the screen keeps changing because I keep dropping my phone. So fun, so professional. And just to calm it down a tad, I'm also gonna go into the rustic color just to buff out the bottom lash line. All right, so I think that's it for this portion of the first impression. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera. I'll give you my first impressions in just a minute. Hello, I have returned and my makeup is all done now. For my lips, I chose Max Bullet Lipstick in D for Danger. It's just like a beautiful kind of uh, berry fuchsia red. And that's what I have all on my lips today. It's a matte formula. I really like it. Actually, like once I got my mascara on, I really like the look. It's just very subtle and it's nice. It's what I was going for with this bright, fun lip. And it just complements it very well. So for my first impressions of the Soft Glam Palette, I used five shades, which I feel like is pretty good for a first attempt. I used Glistening, Burnt Orange, Sienna, Rustic, and Cypress Umber. And I have used two of these shades in the Modern Renaissance palette. So three of these were new experiences for me. Um, I, I think actually I'll really like this Sienna shade. I always like browns with a reddish tinge to it. The glistening, obviously it's not like super shiny and crazy, but it's just nice for a soft look. If that's what you're going for, this will give you it. And I liked, I liked all the mattes. They obviously blended very well. I like Cypress Umber on the lower lash line. It almost looks like I have eyeliner on. We love that because I'm too lazy to do normal eyeliner. Actually, I really like it. I just, I can't wait to play with those pinks just on a different day. And yeah, those pinks and the dusty rose color. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And the mulberry shade is really pretty as well. I always love it. I always love a good red shade. I just talked about the reddish browns. That's kind of it. I love that shade. So first impressions, I'm pretty impressed. The matte browns are pretty typical of Anastasia and I have really never had too bad of luck with any of their browns. So I quite enjoy it. I could have used a little more shimmer, but I think, I mean, it's called soft glam for a reason. Now if it was full blown glam and it gave me this, that would be a different story, you know, but they're going for soft. And I know that is a lot of people's speed. Personally, if I'm gonna go for shimmers, I probably prefer a lot more of what's in Sultry. Oh, this is very well loved. It's probably my favorite palette of uh, I, recent memory for a while now. It's been my favorite palette. I've had it for about a year, if not a little over that. The, the shimmery shades in that are a little more my speed, but the Soft Glam lived up to its name. This is definitely st Soft Glam. This is what you would do for someone on a wedding day. This is, this is the look. Yeah, I'm very excited to try more looks with it. And I would give it a thumbs up as for now. Obviously, I've not tried every shade, but I have a hard time believing this is gonna flop. I mean, it's a neutrals palette. It's kind of hard to screw that up, and especially with Anastasia's formula. I love it. It's hard to mess that up for me. Hope you like this look. I know it's simple, um, but I'm just going to church in that, so I'm not trying to look super, super, super dramatic. <laughs> Uh, I do that enough, so I'm trying to be a little more subtle. I hope you enjoy this. Come back for my next video. Hopefully, it'll be pretty soon. And thank you for watching if you made it to the end here. Love you guys. Thank you for your support. And I hope you enjoy this. Yay. Bye.